My name is Liz Gardner and I'm an assistant professor in public relations here in the college. My educational background started in North Carolina. I did my undergrad at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill where I was a PR major back in the day myself. Uh, after that I worked in Atlanta in PR for a few years at an agency as well as doing some work at a software consulting firm, some technical writing and um, so got to work with clients like CDC and American Cancer Society as well as be on the private side of things in the consulting firm. I did my master's at the University of Texas at Austin, though I ask that the Red Raiders please not hold that against me. I would never pull for the Longhorns over Texas Tech. And I did my PhD at the University of Missouri. My research focuses on health communication. Mostly what I look at are better ways to design health messages. So all of the messages people give you, you hear from your doctor, you see on TV, you get brochures. Uh, my research is about finding smarter ways to design how we are encouraging people to make smarter health decisions. Right now I teach public relations campaigns. I have taught a special topics public relations for nonprofits course before and I'm teaching a graduate course on strategic communication processes, kind of advertising and consumers. A really important thing for me uh, in terms of how I run my classroom is making sure that I treat the students like adults. Uh, we have a kind of unique uh, situation in public relations and that students are walking right into a profession and I think that we really have an obligation in college to give them a sense of what that profession is going to be like so expecting things like attendance instead of requiring it expecting that students will turn their work in on time and uh, you know giving them the liberty to make mistakes letting students try challenging new things and teaching them to learn to find their own answers and find their own way because at some point they aren't going to have their teachers to tell them what to do and so I like to run my classroom really almost as an on-ramp for the real world or kind of as a set of training wheels for what they'll encounter in the real world and the other thing I think it's really important to keep things fun in the classroom in a sense you know as a teacher or a professor I'm supposed to be somewhat of a cheerleader of knowledge, I think. If I can't make this interesting and if I can't make this fun and I've chosen to devote my life to this, how in the world can I ever expect students to find value or find uh, you know, something interesting in what it is they're learning in the classroom? So giving a lot of examples, keeping up on current trends, bringing in uh, current affairs to the classroom, just trying to find a lot of different ways to present information so students have a lot of opportunities to find something that interests them. I hope that the most important thing that I want my students to take away from my teaching and what I really hope they leave the classroom with is a hunger to know more. You know, we can look at teaching as a process where I have all of the answers and I share all of the answers with my students and then magically they know all of the answers to everything, but that's not really how the world works, especially when we're talking about fields of communication. And so I try and teach my students things that are going to stand the test of time, like how to find information on your own, how to know what a good question to go to someone with as opposed to the type of question you want to answer for yourself. But I hope students you know, take away this realization that there is so much in this world for us to know and so many ways that we can help make the world a better place. And so I hope they learn something in the classroom that they then translate into that type of action making this world a little better. The most important piece of advice I would give my students would be to resist the temptation to be apathetic. It's so easy nowadays to get bored and spend all of your time on you know, Facebook or not paying attention to the things in college. There are so many expectations on students that it's easier sometimes to just kind of throw your hands up and feel above it all and uh, you know, it's cool to be bored. But I think that there's really a reward in resisting that urge to kind of feel above it or to feel apathetic. And the students that I see really engage with college, the ones who, you know, bother to do the readings or spend extra time editing something they write for class, they come out with this, you know, much stronger sense of their time was really valuable here. They learn something, they can do things, they feel uh, the sense of power that you don't always see in students who choose the more apathetic path. So I encourage you to engage, to take on the challenge of trying to be something bigger than yourself or making a class something bigger than it is. 
uh, whatever that may be, if it's your grades, if it's community service, if it's being an amazing boyfriend or an amazing girlfriend even, just find some way to be better. That's what college is supposed to be about.